Oh, greetings. Just had to make sure this bad boy was secured down. My name is Jake Jones, and you're about to see the most coolest thing ever. This is my car. Not anything flashy, but it'll do. This is the main thing I want to show you. That's right, an actual military Jado rocket, baby. If you don't know what a Jado rocket is, it's pretty much answered in the acronym. Jet Assisted Takeoff. It's mostly used for bigger aircrafts with overloaded cargo to give it that extra thrust whenever it takes off. You're probably wondering where I got it. My uncle is a retired Air Force sergeant and managed to snatch one back home. And he gave it to me for my birthday this year. Now you get to see it in action. I'm a bit of a computer geek, so I rigged up this little custom console to help me activate the rocket in an easier fashion. This is the gauge to tell me how fast I'll be going. Because this thing will be going frickin' fast, this is the inputs that'll help mix the fuel in the rocket. You see, most rockets have fuel and oxidizers inside, and all the fuel and oxidizers are is the propellants to help launch the rocket. When they are mixed together and ignited, it combusts out of the back chamber. Which is what the big red button is for. And all this little bar is is just to show when it's ready to launch. Are you ready? I can feel it racing through my veins. The need for speed, the hunger for adrenaline, it just burns through me. And now, it's my turn to burn it up, baby! A hundred and fifty, huh? Let's get this sucker started. Okay, so the fuel is mixing like it should. The oxidizer seems to be doing good too. Just a little more, baby. The urge to press the big red button hurts. Yes! you'll ever see in your life. Huh? With it being an urban legend, the story of the Jado rocket car has been quite the fascination with the public. Mythbusters has attempted to try their own rocket cars and busted the myth in their very first episode of the show. With no way of acquiring actual Jado rockets, unable to get the car to speed up to 300 miles an hour, and no sign of possibility for the car to go airborne. Then, a man named Ron Patrick would put up a Craigslist ad for his jet-powered Volkswagen New Beetle, which was made to be street legal for half a million dollars in December of 2020. 